Hey everyone, it's Miss Melody from the Ludington Library Junior Room. Welcome back to Try It Out with Miss Melody. Here at the Junior Room, we sometimes like to highlight some strange holidays that you may not have heard of and you might not be celebrating. And today is one of those days. Today is Observe the Weather Day. So we are gonna be making a tool that can help you observe the weather all year long. We're gonna be making a weather wheel that will help you look outside and identify what kind of weather is going on and also what temperature it is. Maybe you can do this each morning when you wake up. Maybe you can even track what the weather is like and become your own weather reporter for your family. We're gonna need just a few supplies to make our weather wheel today. The first thing you're gonna need is some paper. I'm actually gonna be using some cardstock because it's a little thicker and less likely to rip. A pencil, a ruler, some scissors, some metal fasteners, which are sometimes also called brads. You just need one of those. And then some art supplies. I am going to be using some markers. You could use crayons, colored pencils, whatever kind of art supply you like the best. So we're gonna start by making the outside of our weather wheel. We're gonna make our paper into a circle. You can find something to trace that is circular or draw a circle on your paper. I think I'm just gonna freehand it, like kind of free cut it. So I'm gonna cut along the outside to make this into a circle. And after you are done cutting out your circle, you're gonna to wanna to save those scraps. We're gonna be using the edges of the paper that we cut off to make some arrows at the end that will point to the kind of weather that it is. I'm just gonna cut this out a little bit circular. I'm gonna trim it a little bit so it looks like a circle. Here we have our circle, and our next job is to divide that circle into even pieces, kind of like a pizza. We're going to start by dividing it into eight equal pieces. So I'm going to use my pencil and my ruler to do that. I'm going to start by making a straight line down the center, going one way, and then turning and doing it the other way. So it has four equal pieces. Now we have four pieces, kind of like four pieces of pizza or pie, and we're going to do that two more times to make it into eight pieces. Use our ruler again, just right down the middle, and right down the middle again. Now we have eight equal pieces ready for us to record some weather in. But before we do that, we are going to actually make two of these pieces even smaller. These are going to be going to be the pieces that have how, what the temperature is and they don't need to be quite as big. So I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to pick two of my pieces here and I'm going to divide them in half again. So do another line right down the middle. pieces that are all the same size and four pieces that are a little bit smaller. Before I do anything else, I'm going to trace over um, the pencil lines I just drew with marker to make them a little bit clearer. You can do that if you would like or you can leave them as pencil. There we go. Now I'm going to start with my skinny pieces over here first, which are going to talk about the temperature that the weather can be. So think about, hmm, Maybe the seasons? How, what does it feel like in summer? Well, it feels kind of hot. So that's a temperature it can be, it can be hot. So in my little pizza slice, I'm gonna write the word hot. And you might need a parent's help if you're not writing yet, and that is okay. So I'm gonna write at the very edge here, hot. That is the temperature the weather can be. In the springtime, it is no longer really hot anymore, but it's still pretty warm. So the next temperature I'm gonna write is warm. There. Then it starts to get kind of cool in the fall and cold in the winter. So those are the four temperatures I have. Hot, warm, cool, and cold. Cold. And I'm going to color in those little pie slices just a little bit to make them pop. So when I think of hot, let me think of a color. What makes you think 
of hot. Hmm, maybe red. I'm gonna pull out a red marker. And just add a little red to that pizza slice where it says hot. And then warm, hmm, maybe yellow or orange would be a warmish color. Color that in. And then maybe some blues for cool and for cold. These are colors I think of when I think of cool and cold. I'm going to add just a little color to each of those as well. And as you're doing this, I want you to start thinking about what kinds of weather have you seen? What kind of weather do you know about? Maybe weather you see um, during the summer or the winter. Because those are going to be what we add next. All right, so in our other six slices, after we finish our temperature, we are going to think about different kinds of weather. If I look outside today, I can see a little bit of sun, but it's not completely sunny. I think it's a little bit cloudy. So that's the kind of weather we can have. You can have cloudy weather. You can also have sunny weather. Sometimes it's raining, so you can have rainy weather. It can be windy. In the winter, it can be snowy. And sometimes you might have a lot of rain and wind and clouds all at the same time, which is what we call a storm. So it could be stormy outside. Those are the six weather types that I picked. Cloudy, sunny, rainy, windy, snowy, and stormy that I'm gonna put on my weather wheel. There are other types of weather as well, and you might wanna choose a little bit different ones. Maybe you would really like to have a piece of your weather wheel that says foggy, um, and you could add that as well, or you want one that says partly cloudy when it is there's clouds in the sky and there's also sun. So you can kind of make this look how you would like, the types of weather that you want to include. Now that we have our six types of weather, I'm gonna add some pictures to go with each one. So on my sunny slice, I'm gonna put a big sun. If you are doing this with a younger child, this is a part where they can really get involved. It's kind of hard for them to write, but I'll bet they can think of some really, really great pictures that would go along with each of these types of weather. So I'm gonna add a sun to the sunny, Piece, and then I'm going to start thinking about what I want to add to my other ones. Maybe some clouds for cloudy, some snowflakes for snowy. I'm going to go ahead and add all of those other little bits of art to my weather wheel and then I'll show you what it looks like. All right, I have finished decorating my whole wheel, putting all my different kinds of weather on there. Rainy, sunny, windy, snowy, stormy, and cloudy. And they make clouds nice and gray on all of those days. And now I'm ready to add my arrows. My arrows are gonna show what kind of weather it is on any particular day. So today, I probably would wanna point my arrows towards cloudy and cold, because that's the weather today. So I'm gonna take out the extra scrap paper I had, and I'm going to draw two arrows. One arrow is gonna to point to the type of weather it is. The other one is going to point to the temperature. So I'm gonna make them different colors, and you can make them whatever color you would like. I think I'm gonna do an orange arrow. I'm just gonna draw it on here in marker. And then I'm going to do a red arrow, I think. Go ahead and draw them and then cut them out. Now I have two arrows. They're about the same size, but they don't have to be exact. And I am going to get out my metal fastener or my brad so that I can attach it to my wheel. I just need one. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the center of my wheel where all those pieces meet right in the center. And I'm gonna poke my brad through there first to make it easier later on. Stick it right through. And then I'm gonna pull it out. I just wanted to get that 
hole ready for when I'm ready to put the arrows on. Then I'm going to take my arrows and I'm going to poke the brad through the ends of both of them. It doesn't matter which one is on top and which one is on bottom. I'm just going to stick it right through. If your um, paper is a little bit wet, maybe from markers, this might be a little bit harder um, to do, but you're just going to poke it through both of them. So here we have it poked through both. They can kind of move around one on top of the other. Then I'm going to take that brad and I'm going to stick it back into the hole I just made in the center of my weather wheel. Just like that. Then I'm going to flip it over and push down the end of the brad so it won't slide back out. Now you should have two arrows on your weather wheel that can move independently of each other, which means separately. So this one I can put on cloudy. This one I can put on cold because that is the weather for today. Yeah. And cold. And you can use this every day to track what the weather is looking like outside and give maybe a weather report to your family. Let them know what the weather is going to be. Do you need to wear your raincoat today? Is it raining outside? Should you maybe put on some sunscreen because it's really sunny out there? Wear a scarf because it's cold? This can help you observe the weather and what is going on outside. If you are someone who is especially interested in weather and wants to learn more about weather all over the world, I do have a few book, re book recommendations for you as well. The first one is called The Ultimate Weatherpedia. It is by Stephanie Warren Drimmer, and it has a ton of information about lots of different types of weather, weather that you can find in different parts of the world that you might not be able to find here because of our location, as well as different types of animals that might live in different areas because of the weather or the temperature there. So this would have a ton of information for you. And if you enjoy doing experiments about weather, we have a true book called Experiments with Weather. This is by Salvatore Tocci, and it has lots of different things that you can do at home to experiment with weather, to maybe um, study the, the rain that's coming down or the wind and to keep track of the weather around you. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this experiment and are able to observe the weather outside you today. We hope to see you in the junior room soon.